Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, your go-to place for practical IT and cybersecurity tips. Today we will discuss the situation of accidentally deleting an Active Directory user account that every Windows administrator may encounter. It happens, a misclick, a script gone wrong, or even just a human error, and boom, a critical user account is gone. But don't panic, you have options. In this video, I will walk you through three powerful methods to bring that user account back from the dead. The first one is by using the Active Directory Recycle Bin. The second one is by restoring from a system state backup. And the third one by using a handy little tool from SysInternals called AD Restore. Each method has its strengths, limitations and prerequisites and I will show you exactly how to use them step by step. So let's get into it. The first method for restoring a deleting user account is through the Active Directory Recycle Bin. This feature operates similarly to the Windows Recycle Bin that we frequently use to recover deleted files. While the underlying concept is the same, the Active Directory Recycle Bin is not activated by default. You must enable it manually. Additionally, once activated, it cannot be deleted. But why would someone disable a handy feature? To enable the Recycle Bin, open the Active Directory Administrative Center. Then right click on your domain and click Enable Recycle Bin. You will be asked to confirm, click OK. This message tells me that the Recycle Bin will not function reliably until all domain controllers in the forest have replicated the Recycle Bin configuration change. So if you have multiple domain controllers spread around multiple sites, it can take uh, some time for the Recycle Bin to be available. So I click OK. Let's refresh the content. And you can see a new container that has been added, named Deleted Objects. This container will hold all the deleted objects. So for now, it's empty. So let's do a test by deleting a user. So I'm going to delete a user from the CU organizational unit. Let's delete this user, the CU. Click delete. Yes, the CU is gone. Now let's open the deleted objects container. And as you can see, the CU is in this container, ready to be bring back. To restore the user, right click and select restore. This option will restore the user account into the original organizational unit. If you want to restore it to a different organizational unit, choose Restore to and then select the organizational unit. For the example, I'm going to restore the user to the original organizational unit. Click on the CU organizational unit and you can see that the user account has been restored. The Recycle Bin is the quickest way to restore a deleted user account. Note that the Recycle Bin will keep the deleted object for a period of 180 days. After this period, the object will be definitely deleted. If the Recycle Bin feature is not enabled in your Active Directory, you can restore a deleted user account using a system state backup. To successfully execute this, you must have a recent system state backup and the Directory Services Restore Mode DSRM Administrator Password. If you don't remember, this is the password Windows asks you to create when you promote the server to a domain controller. DSRM Mode is used for Active Directory troubleshooting and recovery situations. If you don't have the DSRM password, you can reset it as follows. Open a command prompt or a PowerShell terminal. Let's clear the screen. 
and type the following command ntds util this is the tool i will use to reset the dsrm password now type set dsrm password followed by reset password on server none. This will ask Windows to reset the DSRM password on the actual server. And here I will type the new password. Confirm the password. Okay, now I need to excite by typing the Q letter. Perfect. Now let's delete the CU user again. Here it is. And now we need to restart the system in the DSRM mode. And to do so, click on the start button, type msconfig to display the configuration panel. Then click on boot tab, check safe boot and select active directory repair. Click OK and click restart. Now I will open a session using the DSRM administrator account because when you restart into DSRM mode, the domain services are not available. So it's useless to open a session under the domain. So click order user. The username is administrator and the password I just reset. Okay. Okay, you can see here that I'm under the safe mode and to restore the system state backup, open a command prompt or a PowerShell terminal and type the following command. This command will display all the backup versions so that I will choose the recent one. So this is the most recent system state backup version I will pick. And now I will restore this backup version by typing the following command. WB admin start system state recovery version and the backup version. It seems that I made a typo. So let's check this. Okay, I got it. System state recovery. So there is an extra S. Here it is. Yes, I want to start the system state recovery operation. Yes, I want to continue. Okay, I forgot to plug the external disk where the backup is stored. So I will do it quickly. Okay, the disk is now online. So let's do the operation again. Yes, yes. And here it is, the recovery process started. This will take a few minutes, so I will pause the video and we'll be back after the uh, restore process complete. Now that the system state recovery is done, you need to restart the system to complete the process. So I will answer yes, and the system is restarting. I need to open a session using the DSRM administrator account. Hit enter to complete the process. Perfect. Now I will use the NTDS util tool to restore the CEO user account. To do so, I will open a command prompt or a PowerShell terminal. Run the NTDS util tool. 
type the following commands. Activate instance NTDS, followed by the command authoritative restore, then restore object cn equal ceo, the username account, followed by the organizational unit where to recover the object, in this case CEO, then the domain name. Perfect. Answer yes. It seems that there is an error with this, uh, with the domain name. Okay, I see what it is. There is a typo. I need to type corp and not a crop. So let's do the command again. Fix the typo. Corp should be okay now. Yes. Here it is. The authorative restore completed successfully. So I will quit the tool. And now I need to restart the server into the normal mode. And to do so, I must undo the system start configuration I did earlier by opening the system config panel. Okay, I can't type, so I will type into the PowerShell terminal. MS config, click on the boot tab and uncheck safe boot. Click OK and restart. Now the server will restart into the normal mode. This time I will open a session using the domain admin account. Okay, I will open the Active Directory Administrative Center. Navigate to the CEO organizational unit. And as you can see, the CEO user account has been successfully restored. Now, what if you don't have the recycle bin enabled and don't have a recent system state backup? Is there a solution to recover the deleted user account? The answer is yes. There are some external tools that can help you in this situation. In this video, I will use the SysInternals AD Restore tool. It's a free tool that is part of the Sys Internals tools. I will put the download link in the video description. First, let's delete the CEO user account. Okay. AD Restore tool is a command line tool and need to be run from the command prompt. So I will open the command prompt. Navigate to the folder where the tool is located and type AD Restore. Hit Enter and this will show you the list of the deleted AD objects. So here I have only one deleted object, the CEO user account. And to restore it, type the following command AD Restore followed by dash R and the name of the Active Directory object, in our case CEO. I'm asked if I want to restore the object, answer yes. And restore succeeded. So let's check that by refreshing the display. And here it is, CEO user has been restored successfully. There are a few important considerations to keep in mind when using this tool to restore a user account. After the restoration, you will need to reset the user's password and reassign the user to any groups they were previously a part of. This is necessary because the tool does not restore all of the user's attributes, which is a limitation of this method. And there you have it. Three solid ways to recover a deleted Active Directory user account. The recycle bin, perfect for quick recovery. 
a system state backup for when you need to dig a bit deeper and the sys internals ad restore tool a lifesaver in environments without the recycle being enabled remember having a good backup strategy and enabling features like the recycle bin in advance can save you a lot of headaches down the line if this video helped you out don't forget to drop a like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos